Well, you don't want to go into that. That would open up a whole new can of worms. What do you mean that would open up a can of worms? That's gross. Oh, John. So this is me several years ago. Good looking, single father, eligible bachelor, every woman's dream. Whatever. And this is the woman who would later become my wife. She's an angel. In fact, we'll call her Angel. I don't want to be called Angel. Yeah, I mean Angie. Don't call me Angie. Call me Bella. I mean Bella. We met at a bar. I was there to play guitar, and she had come there to meet her oldest son for drinks. It was love at first sight. Ooh! Yeah, okay. Maybe not at first sight. But it got there eventually. Now this is her youngest son, who we'll name John. Hi guys. We're calling him John because when I decided to do these videos I asked him, if you had the power to change your name to any name in the entire world, what would it be? Uh, of course. He said he didn't want to change his name. I don't want to change my name. So I had to rephrase it. Several times. Until we got on the same page, and he eventually came up with the name John. John Cena. The John Cena. That's my boy. John has autism. More specifically, he has Asperger's, which is a developmental disorder related to autism. We were several weeks into our relationship when Bella decided that it was time to tell me about this. I'd say we were somewhere between friendship and dating. Lunch was fun. How about a kiss? Ooh! And we were having a conversation about our kids. Now, I've got to be honest here. I knew as much about autism as the average person. I mean, I'd seen Rain Man after all. And isn't Bill Gates rumored to have autism? Woohoo! We're going to be rich! I was starting to develop real feelings for Bella. I knew that if things continued down the path we were headed, John and I would not only meet one day, we could actually be a major part of one another's life. It was time for me to learn more about autism. So I decided to do what most people do when they need accurate, honest, unbiased information. I turned to the internet. The internet's never wrong. I learned all kinds of things when I first started reading about autism. Autistic people apparently don't have the ability to care about others. They take things literally and so don't understand jokes. Most autistic people are geniuses and nearly all of them have at least one ability that is superior to the average person. And, of course, I found dozens of stories stating that autism can be cured with things like brain magnets, extra vitamin D, and numerous other things. In short, I learned all of the myths and, well, very few of the facts. I'm so fortunate that Bella's heard it all. She's very understanding and usually non-judgmental. You didn't know Jack about autism. I also learned a lot of true things about autism. Things that I've later found to be absolutely true, but still didn't sink in until later when I'd experienced them myself. If you were to look at a list of signs that your child has autism, John definitely fits the bill. Almost all of them match him some of the time, but none of them fit him all of the time. Autism doesn't define John. It's not who he is, it's just something that he has. You can define John just like you define anyone else. He's a walking list of ironies. Thoughtful, yet unaware giving, yet selfish, and at other times, spiteful. The same words you would use to describe anyone you know will readily apply to him. Yep, that's me. Fast forward several years, and John and I are inseparable. We're best friends, brothers, confidants, and more often than not, just two peas in a pod. We're not peas, you weirdo. He may not be my biological son, but he is definitely my boy. And me? Well, I'm whatever he needs me to be at the time. So there are several things I wish to accomplish with these videos. I don't have to be a part of John's life, but I definitely choose to be. He's taught me so much about life and love and friendship and, well, he's made me a better person. I hope this shines through to anyone watching. I want to show that raising a child with any kind of disability is just as rewarding and frustrating as any other aspect of being a parent. I hope to not only separate some of the myth from reality, but to also express things we've all read in ways that I've not seen anywhere else so that just maybe you won't have to go through as many of the trials and numerous errors that I've gone through and still continue to go through to this day. And finally, I want to show you that you're not alone. That the things you go through, both good and bad, 
may not be normal for others in society, but they are normal for us when living with autism. That you're not a bad parent just because your son or daughter says you ruined their life for asking them to brush their teeth in the morning. I definitely ran longer than planned today, but hey, I'm new at this. I'll get better with practice. We all do. Two quick things before you go. If you found any value in this and want to be a part of our circle, then please show your support and hit that subscribe button. Our lofty goal of 1,000... I want a million subscribers. I mean 1 million subscribers all starts with you. Now for our question of the week. How would you describe haircuts in 10 words or less? If you're the parent of an autistic child, you'll get it. Leave the answers in the comment section below and we'll share them next week. Thanks, Circle. See you again.